Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to part 4 of my Sims 4 Discover University Let's Play series. Hey loves, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to part 4 of my Sims 4 Discover University LP series. If you missed the last part, which is linked in the description box below, don't worry, I'm going to give you guys a quick overview. But if you want to check it out, just check out that description box in there. You will find a link that will take you directly to part 3. So yeah, uh, in the last part we spent most of our time with Stephanie she got a chance to explore the Brightchester campus without having to run from class to class and then run home get changed and then run off to work she took a day off of work and decided to just hang out on the campus and explore and figure out where things were and just you know get a little bit more comfortable with exploring the campus and that was a really good thing for Stephanie because it allowed her to step out of her comfort zone and gained some confidence she ended up mingling with some of the younger students while she was out on the quad she stumbled upon a Brightchester Sphere Corps organization event and uh, she stepped up and decided to chat with some of the students get some information and it went it went really well she ended up taking a selfie with the mascot and joining the Brightchester Sphere Corps which is really exciting for Stephanie I'm really happy for her a lot of times she in her head when it comes to being one of the older students on campus she lets that get to her but yesterday really affirmed the fact that she's just another student and the kids really took to her they didn't see her as an older student they just saw her as a student and they just vibed with her and I'm just really happy for Stephanie in this new phase that she's in like I'm just really happy for Stephanie and this uh, this new mindset that she has she's now confident and comfortable and doing new things and I love that for her a little later in in the day Jason and Stephanie had a cute little grilled cheese dinner and movie night they just had some grilled cheese and ended off their day watching a movie together which was really adorable I thought that was just so cute and um yeah that's pretty much everything that took place in part three right now we are here with our girl Stephanie <laughs> at 7 a.m. on a Saturday and as you can see she is not at home she is actually Actually on campus at the Brightchester Commons I can never I can never remember what the name of this building is I just know it's the Commons but she's here on campus because in about an hour the debate guild meetup the debate guild organization meetup is going to be happening out here and in the last part while she was here exploring the campus she got some information oh wow he seems really friendly oh cool he looks like an, an older student awesome but in the last part while she was here getting some uh, campus information she got a little bit of details on the debate guild organization and that's something that she's really interested in so she's here doing a little bit of research and prepping for the organization meetup that's about to happen and she wants to join she doesn't know if she's going to debate today she's a little nervous but she wants to check it out see if she can hang see if she can you know hang with the, the big boys and see how it goes now Jason did offer to come here with her but she was just so nervous about having to debate <laughs> that she didn't want Jason watching her she wants them to come along when she's a little more confident so we'll see how she feels maybe she will debate today maybe she won't but the next time she comes oh debate showdown uh, but the next time she comes we'll definitely have Jason come with her and cheer her on because he is one of her biggest supporters and he really wants to see his mom do well but she was a little nervous so uh, Jason isn't here this time but we definitely have to make sure that we have him next time and get your debate pants on people it's time for the debate guilds debate showdown out on the U Bright quad okie dokie so uh, she's doing a little bit of research and prepping let's have her finish this up awesome and she's feeling very confident prepared for debate from prepping for a debate on the eram okay so she's feeling a little confident this is good I love this look on Stephanie oh look at the little setup okay so let's have her go over here 
and see who else shows up and oh goodness our statue is just it's so hideous <laughs> it is so hideous but we definitely have to have Jason come out here and do this and we have to have Stephanie go to Jason's campus and uh, mess with the statue I really want to see that but all right we have a couple people here he's a debate participant debate participant debate participant okay we have three and I'm loving their outfits I love how official they look they have the school colors they have the crest on the jackets let's come over here and give a friendly introduction to Gianni say hey I'm Stephanie I found out about your organization yesterday I'm very interested in joining what do I have to do you know what are the requirements chat with him and then ask to join the debate guild ask to join hopefully he says yes he shouldn't say no and just like that Stephanie is now a member of the debate guild she has been given an official debate organization t-shirt and poster as welcoming gifts I love it I love it I love it oh so she's gonna have a t-shirt and a poster now does she have to go into cast to unlock this item this, this outfit here I don't know we'll see how that goes but she has a t-shirt and a poster and I don't know we have a celebrity here touring the campus <laughs> I don't know if Stephanie's confident enough to debate in front of a global superstar but we'll see how it goes and oh we have people in yellow jackets showing up well who are these people we have oh debate showdown judge we have Becca Clark and Setsu Okada all right so so how does everything get started? Are people going to just run up and debate? Let's just take a seat. Take a seat and see what happens. Oh, that guy took our seat. <laughs> Let's just take a seat and see how this works. Oh, okay, so they're going up there. All right, I really want Stephanie to debate. She's a little nervous, but she has a little bit of confidence. She wants to get out of her comfort zone and try new things. So since she's feeling a little confident, we'll have her go up and debate after these two. But look at this. I love this. I wish the statue wasn't <laughs> uh, defaced, like I, I wish it looked a lot better. It would make for a much better background, but it is what it is, so let's check this out. And what's her name? We have Brielle Keith, and we have Gianni. I love it! I love their official outfits and how everybody's watching. This is so cool. I wonder what they're debating about. Oh. This is so cool. Now, this organization meetup runs until, let's see, this meetup runs until 2. So we're not going to hang out here until 2. We're not going to hang out with Stephanie until 2. After she goes up there and does her thing, we're going to hang out with Jason because today is school spirit day and that lasts from 11 to 5 and I kind of want him and Lilith to hang out and check out school spirit day and see what that's about so hopefully we'll be able to pull that off uh, let's see if we can get Stephanie to debate before it gets too late so let's just speed through this a little bit I love it I love it I love the official podium oh and she just did something what was that all right so she's a new member I guess she just got a little boost in her her little membership ticker thing majiggy so she has to practice debating for two hours research any topic and watch the news channel on a television and that will help her move up throughout the ranks in the it's a bait guild I love this well, let's speed through this just a hair awesome and yeah we got the notification that said school spirit day is happening at the Foxbury campus stop by and join in the cheer yeah I really want Jason to check that out but let's see Stephanie participate in the debate showdown oh wow she has a little outfit on I love it look at our girl oh she's feeling so confident prepared for debate why is she sad though oh pride tarnished from seeing the uh, school statue look the way it does but let's check out our girl doing her thing I wonder what they're debating about this is so cool you can see a guy in the background just riding on his bike I love this expansion pack you guys I really do I've been wanting a university experience for a minute now and I, I love what I see I'm enjoying it so far
But what is this guy saying? I love this. <laughs> and what is she doing over here? She's like, uh, this guy has no clue what he's talking about. I love it. This is such a good look for Stephanie. And I can't wait for Jason to come with her next time and see his mom up there on the podium. She was a little too nervous to have somebody that she knows watching her this time. But we'll definitely have Jason with her uh, next time. Oops. This is so cool. Oh, he's like, uh, her, her speech is so boring. Let's speed through this just a tiny bit. Hopefully, we'll be able to enjoy Spirit Day with Jason. Let's just speed through just a tiny bit. And is she the winner? Is she going to win? Is she going to win? Let's see. Let's see. She's like, this guy is just so wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like she won. Whoa. Oh, and we got 475 simoleons, you guys. Wow, we get paid for debates? We just got 475 simoleons, and it says, deft debater. Winning a debate is neat, but winning a professional debate? Now, that's impressive. Wow, so we will earn some simoleons while we're out here debating successfully. That is pretty cool. I like that, I like that, I like that. So let me check her status as a new member, and her status went up a tiny smidge. So she just needs to practice for two hours, research any topic, and watch the news channel on TV. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, and they have debate practice um, from 4 to 8. They have... What else? Okay, they have Debate Guild Bar Night. Awesome. Okay, so they have a couple more events for this organization. But good job, Stephanie. We're going to let her do her thing here. And we're going to catch up with Jason and see what he's up to at the Foxbury Spirit Day on his campus. Alrighty, loves. So we are here with Jason and Lilith on the Foxbury campus. And they're hanging out and enjoying Foxbury Spirit Day. There's not too much going on here. They've been here for a minute. It's a pretty chill vibe. Got some people over here rocking the school colors hanging out listen to the music oh we do have lobster larry oh my goodness look at lobster larry just jamming i love it i love it i love it but it's a pretty chill vibe i honestly wish that there was a little bit more to do like a couple more things going on here uh but it is what it is you can get some food you have a couple soccer balls that you can uh play with and you've got the ping pong juice pong table so that's what jason and lilith are doing right now and it looks like jason isn't doing too good uh but actually these two have been wanting to party so their spooky day wasn't as exciting and eventful as they wanted it to be they went to the bar together they played juice pong had a little bit of fun but it wasn't like a really fun party vibe like they wanted so uh jason Jason and Lilith are planning a juice kegger uh, party tonight. We're going to see if we can pull that off. Now, Lilith knows that Jason's roommate is his mom. <laughs> she doesn't judge. She's just like, hey, it is what it is. But we're definitely not having the party at your house. So that's, whole, that's Lilith's whole vibe. She's like, if we have this party, we are not having it at your house. So uh, Lilith is going to host the party at her house. Well, Jason and Lilith are going to host the party at her her house and that's really cool of her to um let jason host but have it at her place and i love jason and lilith's relationship they're pretty good friends i think lilith is like his first real friend here on campus and they're opposites like they are total opposites she's like a villain and klepto and doesn't have time for anybody's mess but for some reason these two uh get along and i really want to explore more of their relationship so we'll see how things go at the the party see if there's a little bit of room floor for flirtation doesn't have to be a serious relationship but I really want to see where uh, things go for these two but let's see who the winner is it looks like the winner is going to be Lilith 
And the event is going to be ending in like 10 minutes. <laughs> and the game goes to Lilith Pleasant with a score of 4. Sorry, Jason. Better luck next time. Aw. But the event is going to be ending soon. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Can we sneak and get a picture with Larry the Lobster? Like take a selfie and then get a high five with him real quick? Oh, and Stephanie has to be at work in an hour. Okay, poor thing. She's always working. Now, Jason, he doesn't have a part-time job like his mom, but what he does to help out is he takes on odd jobs every now and then because he wants to have more uh, time for school and university life. So he works doing odd jobs every now and then, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, he does help out when uh, he needs to. He's definitely... Uh, all about helping with the Hello. household it's not just all on his mom but look at larry Hello. lobster larry i love it i love it i love it and did lilith run off no she's still here what's she doing what's she checking out she chatting with somebody <laughs> i guess she's too cool to uh check out the mascot but let's have these two chat a little bit it's friendly Let's just ask her what she thought about uh, the whole spirit day thing with Jiggy. Oh, oh and she's tense. Poor girl needs some fun. And uh, yeah, let's just chat with her a little bit. I love these two together. Let's kick a soccer ball with her. I haven't really seen him play play soccer. And esports matches take place every Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Foxbury Arena. Oh, can we do that? Let's see. Where is the arena? Where is the arena? Oh, here it is. Can we have these two um, enjoy the game? Let's 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 stop kicking the soccer ball and let's have them do that and attend the esports game with Lilith. And then after the game, I guess we could enjoy a party back at her place. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. And this is pretty exciting. I love how you have the banners. This is pretty cool. I'm really upset. Well, not upset. Like, I'm kind of upset about a lot of the college experiences being rabbit hole, like for the classes and, and, and little things like that. But I have to say, even though a lot of these experiences are rabbit hole, I do appreciate how the organization events are. Are not rabbit hole like that I guess that makes up for the fact that the classes and things like that are rabbit hole so I love that the debate guild actually takes place on the quad and you can meet people and it looks so official and they have their little outfits and I can't wait to see more of the bot savants uh, organization and little things that they do I love how even though the actual class university experience is rabbit hole that uh, the organization events and other little experiences kind of make up for it because you're able to be there with your sim and see them participate and make friends and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's my little rant. <laughs> but they're enjoying an esports game together. And then after this game, oh, he has to use the bathroom. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, he'll be able to use the bathroom at Lilith's house. But after this game, we're going to have both uh, Jason and Lilith head back to her place and officially get the party started. Cannot wait to see what this whole juice kegger thing is going to look like and uh, yeah so the event just ended how did it go uh better luck next time oh jason cheered and brought out all of his school spirit but the other team still won oh his mom is going to love that <laughs> uh but oh deep connection oh building strong relationships with others is a cause for happiness deep connection so he and Lilith have a deep connection um but yeah so let's have these two head on over to her house and get the party started and we will catch up with them when they get there Alrighty guys, so Jason and Lilith are here at Lilith's house and the party has been going for a little bit. We've got quite a few people here. It's a nice vibe. It's not a wild party so far, but it's been a nice chill vibe. People dancing, enjoying the music, enjoying themselves. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Just when I said it was a good vibe. No, no. Larry the Lobster in the Brightchester uh, mess got are fighting are you serious oh my goodness and they're just like eh. they're not even paying any attention to this are, am i the only one noticing this <laughs> and lil is like right in the middle of the action oh my goodness well i guess the vibe is not as chill <laughs> 
as I was saying it was, but it's still like a nice vibe. I love everybody's just grooving and getting along for the most part, but I really want to see a keg stand. So let's have Jason do a keg stand. Why is he so, she, bleh. why is she so short here? Oh my goodness, why does she look so small? But let's have Jason do a keg stand with Lilith. See what that looks like. Oh no! Oh, these are some Brightchester students. Oh wow. So some of Lilith's friends are Brightchester students. <laughs> and they are not here for Larry the Lobster being here. Oh my goodness. But this is so cool. I love the vibe of this place. Let's see this keg stand. Let's see it. Oh yes! I love it! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> He fell. Oh my gosh. He fell. Uh, but let's let's see. Can we can we try again? Let's do a keg stand with someone else. Maybe Lilith wasn't able to hold him up. Let's try with uh, Larry the Lobster. Let's see. Can Larry hold us up? Can he hold us up? Oh, and he's getting a little tired. But Jason has had a busy day. You know, he's been out and about. He's a little tired, and he did go to bed kind of late. Oh, oh my goodness, he fell again. And he get, did go to bed kind of late after having this cute little movie night with his mom. So he is a little tired. But we're going to have him party it up until he can't party anymore. Uh, I don't know why he keeps failing at the, uh, the keg stand. But let's just grab a cup of juice and chat with some people let's chat and get to know some of the people here <laughs> we have a bright chester student let's just thank her for coming even though she's the bright chester mascot this is angela Lilith's sister let's chat with her brighten her day a little bit thank her for letting us uh use their house for this get together now this event is a gold event <laughs> i have said this many times before whenever i have a gold event on camera it doesn't ever uh go from bronze to gold like it always sucks but i'm gonna try this time so let's make sure that we tell three stories uh, let's chat with Lilith and tell her story. Like I, I want this to go well. So let's tell a funny story. And let's get to know this person. And uh, tell her a funny story. And then chat with this guy. And uh, well, let's chat with her. Well, actually, no. Oh, this is Julia. Julia. Okay, so Julia is the girl that was at the bar with Jason that night on uh, on Spooky Day when he was trying to get someone to do a keg stand with them. And she was like, oh my goodness, they're fighting again. Are you serious? <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Uh, but yeah, Julia's the girl that was like, ah, keg stands aren't really my scene. And he was trying to like just talk to her, get to know her. And she really wasn't like feeling it too much. But I'm glad she's here. Maybe we could try to get to know her a bit. Now, I love the idea of Jason and Lilith, but they're so opposite. Maybe they're just really good friends. Um, maybe Julia is more uh, Jason's type of girl. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should Jason and Lilith like have? a little a little flirtation ship or should Jason go after a girl like Julia because I love that she's here and they're chatting and having a good time so I don't know what do you guys think tell a funny story because I love what Jason and Lilith have and I don't want to to ruin that you know what I mean like I really don't want to ruin that but is he telling a funny story <laughs> they're having this group chat thing and it's not it's not letting me check off the funny story bit okay let's tell her another funny story just try to impress her and make her laugh and check off the funny story thingamajiggy and look at larry the lobster just vibing like i love this i love it i love it i love this i love how the mascots can fight each other too <laughs> but how's this little conversation going over here can we can we get this to a silver party? I don't want it to be bronze. It's going to be ending soon. Yay! It's silver. Oh, and let's thank thank her for coming, even though she fought Larry the Lobster. Thank her for coming. 
and yeah the party's going to be ending soon but i'm just happy that this isn't a bronze party <laughs> we got it to be silver which is pretty awesome now now that i see this julia girl here i think i'm going to let julia be the girl that jason is interested in because like i said before i don't want to ruin lilith and jason's friendship they have a cool vibe so let's see if she wants to oh, let's see if we can get to know her let's try to get to know her a little bit fill her out she seems like a pretty good girl when we met her at the bar she really wasn't all that wild oh she's outgoing which is nice oh she's sitting down to talk to us can we ask her to hang out for a little bit? Well, let's just discuss our interests and get to know each other. And is there a way for us to... Let's ask if she's single. Let's ask if she's single. Put herself out there. See if she's single. And then see if we can exchange numbers or something like that. She is single. All right. Um, before you go, let's... Um, Oh, the party's over. Oh, 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 awesome. But we got 200 simoleons because it was a good party. It wasn't a sucky bronze party. That was a pretty sweet keg party. Here's some money for the juice keg, and you should definitely host again soon. Awesome. So I'm loving that this event turned out pretty good. Oh, but Julia's leaving. Okay. All right, so we didn't really get a chance to chat with Julia the way we wanted, but Lilith, our girl, she knows lots of people, has lots of connections. I'm pretty sure she can get Julia's phone number for us, so we'll be able to call her, chat it up a bit, or like, you know, just text her and try to get to know her and fill out her vibe because I, I think that Julia's more the girl that I want Jason to end up with because I don't want to ruin him and Lilith's friendship. Uh, but he's kind of tired. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. So we are going to uh, head on home. Uh, we can't put this in our inventory. No, remove any items on this object before. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have Jason head on home. <laughs> the party's over and this guy is still hanging around. I guess he's cool with the... Oh, no, he's leaving too. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give our girl a hug goodbye. Give her inside jokes, talk about how well everything went. And then uh, give her a hug goodbye. One choice is, can we hug? Can we give her a friendly hug? Goodbye? Yeah, let's tell her goodbye. See you later. And then head on home. And I guess she's heading out too. I don't know where she's going. This is her house. <laughs> but yeah, we'll catch up with Jason when he gets home. Alrighty, guys. So Jason is home. He climbed up the stairs and immediately went to bed. And once again, <laughs> he came strolling back home at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Luckily, his mom was asleep again. And she didn't wake up when he was climbing up those stairs. But yeah, he's kind of making a habit of this climbing climbing up those stairs at like five o'clock in the morning and stephanie has been pretty cool about it or at least she's been keeping it to herself uh but yeah it's the start of another day it's a sunday we're gonna have them stay in today and get some things done for their schoolwork i think that's the plan for this sunday jason is definitely going to be in recovery mode i mean he's been out partying it up and strolling at five six o'clock in the morning so he's going to have a recovery day today. But my plan for this Sunday is to kind of have them brush up on some of the things they need to take care of for school. Maybe have Stephanie hang out with Bob. That's my idea for the next part. I don't know. We shall see. But I'm going to end this part right here. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this part. I hope you had fun watching Larry the Lobster and the Brightchester mascot uh, duke it out. What is the name of the Brightchester mascot? Scott. I know that Foxberries is Larry the Lobster. I gotta figure that out. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this part. I'm having so much fun with this. I hope you are too. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think they want to check out a Discover University LP series. And uh, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to receive upload notifications for my future uploads so you don't miss out on the next part and all my other content that I have on this channel and um yeah i love you all you all are super duper amazing and i will talk to you beautiful people in my next video bye guys